I am honestly obsessed. You guys, what do you think? Is the current situation all of my drawers look like this we're gonna go through and clean out everything so I'm going through this one I'm halfway through it we've got some blushes in here and some more like Mac bronzers Too Faced stuff hey pretties what's up welcome back to my channel or if you're new here welcome my name is Lindsay so today's video we're gonna be going through my entire vanity right here I need to go through and reorganize everything I need to clean out a bunch of my makeup wipe everything down and I figured since it's New Year's I want to start kind of like consolidating a lot of things that I don't use and either donating them and just kind of like scaling back on my makeup. I have so much stuff that I don't use and it needs to be cleared out. So that's what we're going to be doing. Before we get into everything, don't forget if you're not already subscribed, go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you enjoy my videos. Also, don't forget to push bell notifications so you never miss out on any of my future uploads. And then if you are a returning subscriber, you can probably see my hair looks a little different. Not gonna lie, I honestly feel like a brunette Barbie today. I have never worn clip-in ponytail extensions, and I told you guys a few videos back that I was gonna be reviewing these ponytail clip-in extensions from Alter Hair. So we're gonna be doing that really quickly as well, and I do have a discount code if you guys are interested in trying. That will be linked in my description box. Before we move on, I did want to say I hope everyone had a wonderful New Year's. I cannot believe we are already in 2022. I hope everybody is safe, happy, healthy, and I'm wishing you all the best in this new year. And um, yeah, let's go ahead and just get straight into everything. Get you a little snack, some coffee, whatever. This is going to be a longer video. I want to start off with telling you guys about these extensions. So these are from Alter Hair. They all come in this really cute pink satin bag. You can use this to store them in or if you're traveling. That way they don't get all knotted up and messy. So this one I'm wearing right here is from their Essential Ponytail Duo. It kind of gives me Ariana Grande day vibes and it is in mixed brown it was a spot-on match for my hair I think it blends in really easy and you can see up here it's like you cannot tell that it's a clip in this was super easy to install so basically all you do is so this literally is gonna take your look from like 0 to 100 in about 30 seconds all you do, I have another ponytail extension right here. This is in mixed brown as well. This is kind of like a wave, a little curly wave moment going on right here. So you have this clip. You go in right above. Whoop, you go in right above where your ponytail is. You clip this down. And then this piece right here is what's going to hide where your ponytail, where the vel Velcro is and you literally wrap this around and velcro it and then it comes with two bobby pins and you're just gonna um, fasten those down literally took me like 30 seconds to put in it was super easy um, and as much hair as it is it honestly doesn't feel like I'm just weighted down which I was really surprised happily surprised about personally for me there's a lot of days when I don't feel like doing my hair and my hair is kind of short without extensions so when I put it up in a ponytail there's like barely any hair there so I end up going through styling my hair this way I feel like if I get up and I don't feel like getting ready and I still want to look good all I've got to do is clip this in I'm not going to have to heat style my hair and I look like I spent an hour straightening it and look at this look at how much hair this is I am obsessed so, like I said, this is in mixed brown. This one is in mixed brown as well. They do have um, just regular clip-in hair extensions as well, not ponytail. So, this next one I have here is just a basic clip-in hair extension, not a ponytail. This one is also super easy to install. This one is in mixed brown as well. The hair is super soft. And basically what you do, this is your weft right here. I mean, this is... 
it couldn't be any simpler a lot of times when you have the clip in hair extensions they come in separate wefts this one is all just one piece right here and you just start you want to part your hair halfway and then you're literally just going to start clipping these in from top to bottom what i really like about this is their clips are rubber backed so they're super like super comfortable there's a lot of times i'm really picky with my clip and hair extensions because if the clips don't have that rubber backing i feel like it's just constantly pulling on my hair this one is super comfortable to wear and like i said they have a variety of colors on their website and mine was a spot on match so i'm super happy about that so if you guys want to check them out, like I said, I am obsessed. You can either do like a ponytail duo that has two different styles, or if you just want to do a single ponytail extension or a single clip in hair extension, they have a variety of colors and styles. Everything will be linked in the description and thank you to Alter Hair. So now let's move on to the vanity part of this video. I am going to <laughs> try to go drawer by drawer. I'm going to start with my right side, which is my most messiest side over here. This is the side that I reach to um, daily. I have like my foundation. All of my go-to products are on this side, so it's probably going to be the worst. So let's go ahead and get into that. So I forgot to mention, so this is a pajama top that was sent over from Pixie. Super cute. It has matching pants and it comes with a little sleep mask. I'm going to be reviewing their new pajamas in an upcoming video, but I'm going to go ahead and link this one as well in the description if you guys are interested. It's super soft, really comfortable, and I absolutely love this style. It kind of reminds me of Victoria's Secret. Okay, so the top of my vanity is not really bad, but it still needs to be reorganized. I'm going to save that for last because everything that we're pulling out is going to go on top this lighter down here leaving black stuff on my floor for me lighting my candle um but yeah so we're going to pull everything out you guys look at this this is what i do when i get through with my makeup pretty much i try to shove it all in one drawer which is totally crazy with all the space i have so i'm going to start off with this one right here so i'm going to start i'm just going to go ahead and pull this out who knows what is back here? Got some palettes. I really need some organizers for these palettes. The last time I cleaned this out, I said I was going to get some, and I never did. I'm just going to start pulling everything out, and then I'm going to go in and wipe everything down. I'll probably speed up a couple of these parts. That way, the video moves along a little quicker. But like you can see, some of this stuff in here I have just needs to be chunked. Yeah, like this right here. There is no rhyme or reason to it. So I'm excited to see what it's going to look like when we get finished with everything. Maybe I'll do like face palettes in a certain drawer and all that. Here's a pair of lashes I didn't even know I had. A lot of this is going to be thrown away. It's just old lip products. Okay, so I'm going to wipe everything down and then we're going to go through it all and put it back in. So far in this top drawer, I've reorganized it and I did a couple of Too Faced eyeshadow palettes right here that I use a lot with my mascaras and then we've got some pigments, some of my lip products, some still um, eyeshadows and the next one I've done a lot of my MAC and Too Faced stuff like the blushes and my highlighters and I found a lot of ones that I had forgotten about and I still have a whole nother drawer I need to do like this one right here down in here i just did like my pixie palettes right here and then i did some of my old Too Faced stuff i've got some of my benefit face palettes right here these are some of my favorites if you're ever looking to get one this one right here was one of my all-time favorites so this one had you can tell it's been well loved this had the hula bronzer the rock tour blush which is one of my all-time favorites the gold rush highlighter dandelion blush and the california blush i love benefits 
uh, blush bar palettes. If they come out with one for this year, I'm definitely going to buy another one because those are pretty much tapped out. And then over here, just a variety of, most of these are MAC eyeshadow palettes. And then, and so I'm going through this one. I'm halfway through it. We've got some blushes in here and some more like MAC bronzers, Too Faced stuff. A lot of these are like, <clears throat> whew, excuse me, a lot of these are all like different sizes and shapes. I've got square ones, round ones, round ones, so it's not going to look aesthetically pleasing, unfortunately. So I'm just going to kind of have to like mix and match what I should have done, and I might switch around. This drawer is packed full, but these are all the round sizes right here. And then I've got more round ones back here. It's like, do I take them out of this and combine them? I don't know. I've got so many of these MAC bronzers, and I think if they're on this side of my vanity, because for some reason this is the side I reach to, maybe I'll start using them more. For some reason, this side over here, I guess because it's close against the wall, I don't reach for it as much. So I keep all my stuff that I use a lot over on this side. This is super pretty. This was a MAC highlighter. So yeah, so I've got that right there, and then I think what I'll do on the back of it, I'll take this and fill that up. That way, we're really dedicating this drawer to blushes and bronzers. Yeah, I like that. Down on this very last drawer, I had all these empty packages down here. I'm not really sure why I kept them. I guess some of them for like collector's purposes, you know, the Too Faced stuff. A lot of this can be trashed. But then again, I'm like, if I trash it like this, this needs to be thrown away. But some of these collector's ones, like if I peel the stickers off, I feel like if I keep them, I don't know, I'll decide. You guys let me know what you think on that. So in this bottom drawer, I'm thinking I'm going to do... Let's see, we still have a good bit of eyeshadow palettes and other stuff left. So let me think on that for a minute. Okay, so I've moved over to this side. This is, so far, all the trash I have. There was just empty foundation bottles and everything. Over here, I put a lot of my makeup brushes that I use a lot and some foundation. And then I think I'm going to fill these up with lip dirty with lip products got that filled up with my lip products and then up here we got some more garbage that I cleaned out I found some old products that I wanted to display so we'll probably move these to the top drawer and then I'm gonna move on to the second drawer started cleaning out this drawer right here I got um, miscellaneous stuff right here but I didn't even know that I still had Ooh, that palette needs to be wiped down but I had totally forgot about this Benefit palette I had, and it's still got a lot of product in it. This is a, a main reason right here why I needed to clean everything out. You can see my hands are already filthy. So, I'm going to go through and get the rest of this stuff out of here, clean it out. Like, look how dirty that is. So, we're going to get all that clean, and then I'm going to be finished with this side. Okay, so I got everything, like all the trash cleaned out. That is everything that was garbage, which is insane. And then up here, I've still got to find out what I'm going to do with this stuff. I'm really happy with the way this side turned out. I feel like it's a lot more organized. Like I said, this is a lot of things that are, I'm going to be using on the daily basis. And then right here, all my palettes. Hopefully one day I get some organizers where this can all be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing to the eye, but I'm happy with the way it turned out. So I'm going to get rid of that garbage and wipe all of um, like these top drawers down and then maybe rearrange what's in my three glass drawers up here. I'm just going to start playing around with how I want to get this all set up. I definitely want to use this palette more, so I think I'm going to put this in the middle. And I just like the way this box looks with these brushes, those mini brushes. Got some of my favorite Too Faced palettes. I always try to, which I've got a full like, drawer over here of Too Faced, and I need to reorganize this one here in a minute too. Everything's just kind of scattered. So this may take me a minute. 
This is always the problem I have. I get it organized and then I'm still left with a bunch of palettes left over. But honestly, I'd rather have the brighter colors up here. So I guess what we'll do is we'll go back and stick these inside the vanity. And then on this drawer over here, I'm not going to change too much, if anything. And see, I, I'm still using that cinnamon swirl palette. I want to take it out because it's not pink. It doesn't really match. But I guess we'll leave it. So now we've got to find some more to stick all the rest of these. What do you guys think about this top drawer? Honestly, I'll probably end up changing it. I feel like it's a little bit, I don't know, doesn't really vibe. Alright, so I switched it around one more time. I'm sure I'll probably end up changing it again before it's all said and done. I guess I'll take this little one out and see if I can somehow fit it in here. I just think their little heart blushes are so cute. And then now we're just going to put the rest of this up. And I guess we'll just stick it down in this drawer. It's going to have to go laying on top of everything again. have down here okay so I got lucky these um, Too Faced palettes actually fit perfectly on the side of the drawer and it still closes so I'm gonna leave those there I'm gonna stick this highlighter probably in with where'd it go yeah we'll stick it down here with the rest of these and that MAC one. So I keep all my setting sprays and stuff displayed right here, most of them. And then down here I've got a lot of my MAC lipsticks. So I wish I could have these in the vanity. I need to take some of mine from the vanity and stick them back on this. But for the most part, that's everything that's that I have that's not in the vanity is usually on this. Or sometimes I might keep it um, over here in this car. For stuff that I don't use a whole bunch and I don't want to clutter up the space I have. We're by the closet, a random little find. You guys see these Victoria's Secret boxes? So next week when I do my haul, um, I found a person who was basically consolidating like all of their Victoria's Secret collectibles. And I've got a luggage come in. It's like pink striped and it was a display in the store. And then I have some more of those boxes come in. So I'm really excited because I'm going to add these to my closet. You guys know I'm going with the whole Victoria's Secret theme. And I've got some more of those coming. Okay, so I got everything finished up and wiped down. I didn't change up too much up top. I still really like the way this drawer is right here. And then over here, I usually just keep a lot of my Juicy Couture stuff displayed. I just think it's too pretty not to be displayed. Right over here is mainly like my Too Faced stuff. Of course, there's some other brands in here, but it's all mainly Too Faced. This palette right here is from Yasmin's Glam Room on Instagram. It's a really gorgeous palette. Speaking of makeup, while we're on the subject, so if you're looking for a good natural everyday palette, this one is still available by Too Faced. I'm sure most of you have probably tried it by now. This is one of my all-time favorites for like neutral colors and a really good everyday. You can see I, she's been really well loved, but just some really like nice natural um, neutral colors for every day. Really recommend that one. And then while we're on the subject of talking about makeup, I would love to start doing like a lot more makeup related content on my channel because I feel like I do a ton of hauls, which I know you guys enjoy those and I enjoy those as well. But I'd really like to start doing like some get ready with me's. Or maybe some uh, story times. I don't know. You guys let me know down in the comments. You know, I'm always looking for new video ideas. And let me know if you enjoyed this type. And I was going to go through and kind of tell you guys some little makeup recommendations while I had all my drawers pulled out. One of my favorite highlighters is from MAC. And I'm trying to think... I cannot remember if this is one of their limit. I know it's limited edition packaging, but I can't remember if it's still available. I think they do release it every Christmas. I think but this is Whisper of Guilt. I was gonna swatch it for you really quick. It's so pretty. She's already hit pan. Pan is filthy from all the makeup, but you can see a swatch here. It's like a really pretty champagne gold color. Love that one. And then. 
the one palette that I also really love. Where'd it go? This Too Faced Natural Lust palette. A lot of their um, ones that are in cardboard sometimes are really crappy quality. But this one right here, and I want to say this one's still available. Is this Natural Love or Natural Lust? Because they came out with two that lust, yeah. This palette right here, the quality is really, really on point. Their glitters don't have too much fallout, and I just love the matte shades in it. It's a really nice variety of colors, so if you can ever get your hands on this one, I love this right here. And then my Rose Quartz palette's upstairs, but you guys remember me reviewing that a few months ago from Huda Beauty. That palette is very pricey, but it's, oh, it's amazing quality. And one last product is for skincare. This is something I use every day. This is from Too Faced. It's the Plump and Prime. This is a face plumping primer serum. You can see I'm almost out. I need to restock, but I've restocked on this probably three times. Uh, the bottle's gorgeous, but the product is really moisturizing. I don't really notice like a plumping effect, I don't think. I never have, but it does make my skin feel amazing. So if you haven't tried that one, I highly recommend that. And then also their face wash as well, the Too Faced Face Wash right here. This is a foaming cleanser. It smells amazing. And I want to say it has like what is it dragon fruit or something I, th I think that's what makes it smell so good but it really does clean your pores out really really well so we got everything organized you guys let me know down below what you think about the way everything has been reorganized it's not too big of a change but my vanity was a mess it was in desperate need of a cleaning okay so we are finished with the vanity i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make it this far leave me some little champagne emojis down in the comments for new years let me know you stayed till the end of the video if you did thank you i hope you enjoyed it don't forget to check my description box for these hair extensions if you guys want to try them out like i said i'm obsessed with them and you can save some money with my discount code if you're interested and other than that i hope you all have a lovely saturday a wonderful Wonderful New Year's. If you have any video recommendations for me, you can leave those down in the comments as well. And I love you. I will see you on the next one.